Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. What does the statistics behind the MC look like, and how is the MC holding up after this market's most recent decline? Gentlemen, let's watch this video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel, particularly if you've learned something from this video, if you appreciate my opinion, or if you simply enjoy stocks or the stock market. Let's get into it, guy. Consider what is occurring with the S&P 500. In the period of one minute, you went from $4.1185 to $4.1080 to $1 when his remarks were made public. In reality, less than one minute passed. At the time this video was recorded, the S&P was down 1.2% due to a continuation of this selling pressure. Now, the MC is not reacting poorly, only negatively, and not even negatively on a daily basis. It is up 4 cents, or 0.68%. As of right now, you are under 530, though, so that is not necessarily a positive omen. I hope to see a close over 530, and even a move above that in after hours trading would be a really positive indicator for me heading into the following week. Now, it is Thursday. The day after tomorrow is Friday. There is therefore one more day to surpass this level. So you're actually gaining more ground from your support levels, especially as you break over 530 like we did for the entire portion of the day. And you can begin to retest resistance levels instead of trying those support levels, particularly the $4.50 per share level. Now, when I consider the markets and how the markets are evaluating various sectors, such as some of your technology stocks or Redfin, they are priced for perfection. Redfin has increased from $3 to nearly $10 in a month. Right. That is pretty near perfect pricing for 2023. AMP stock, on the other hand, has increased by almost 20% from its 2023 lows. Not nearly as much positive news has been priced into the company. And what has changed between 2022 and 2023? When it comes down to it quite a bit, particularly in terms of earnings in 2022. You've observed corporations with optimistic profit raise forecasts nonetheless decline. It didn't even matter. Now in 2023, if a company delivers mediocre results but raises its guidance, the stock price will increase by 20%. Earnings are virtually usually surpassed by M. There are additional considerations at play here. As we do know, we've discussed it numerous times. The vote on March 14 will be crucial, and there will be a great deal of instability around that time. Intriguingly, this coincides with a large option expiration for LMC, with tens of millions of calls and puts made on this option expiration alone. From my opinion, there is no alternative course of action. Yet up fundamentals are improving. Since June, short interest has reached an all-time high. In fact, it has been consistently greater than it was throughout that June timeframe. Cost bar prices are soaring to new heights. People are becoming more optimistic about AMC. More 13 filings are being published, indicating a rise in institutional ownership in AMC. There are a lot of positives for the firm, and I know people don't like to hear that, but there are a lot of positives for the company, and ultimately that is what helps push shorts out of their short positions. Hey, I had a short position on the company, and I was wrong. The company did not go bankrupt, in fact, it turned a profit, resulting in a significant increase in its market value. In that short position, I lost. I will proceed to cover that. Looking at this on a fundamental level, it's not all that personal. This is something I personally enjoy doing. These additional technical considerations, such as gamma squeezes, short interest, and cost bar rates, are in addition. Bonus. The greatest advantage of this stock is the attention it receives. Literally everyone is familiar with this organization. Those with 30 to 40 years of experience in this field publicly discuss buying or shorting the MC shares. Right? Individuals do not frequently discuss their individual positions. Yet when it comes to a MC, everyone desires to make their voice heard. Thus, I believe that is crucial. Also, I would like to address this. Perhaps this is not the appropriate video. Maybe I should create a video about this subject. Yet, a large number of people have left this community, which, to be completely forthright and sincere with you, I find to be pretty bizarre. If the fundamentals were declining, this would be a beyond betting bath and beyond. 
and if the company is truly declining, then I probably wouldn't be here either. Right? That is the unvarnished truth. At that time, there would be nothing remaining. AMC is on an upward trajectory, which is rather evident. So there concludes my commentary on the matter. I'll likely create a full video on that subject alone, as I believe it's essential to understand why you entered a trade beyond cost bar rates, short interest, and technicals. That is the fundamental basis of this transaction. Everything always boils down to the basics. Is the company about to fail? Sure, I am aware that a MC does not necessarily trade on fundamentals, but in a sense, everything trades on fundamentals, especially over time. Right. So, I believe it is necessary for you people to know this. Now, let's move on to other things that are equally as important. Today after hours, DraftKings, DoorDash, Redfin, and Vail Profits will be released. We discussed this in an earlier video here on the site. In addition, it will be intriguing to observe how these men report John Deere in the morning. These businesses will be significant for their own unique reasons. Obviously, you likely already know. Exactly, Redfin, real estate will be significant, DoorDash, more services, and more travel will be significant. So be wary of that one. Now, as for what occurred earlier in the day, wholesale prices jumped 0.7% in January, as I've already reported. This is the producer price index, and the core PPI rose 0.5% compared to estimates of a 0.2% gain. Yet jobless claims decreased to 194,000, surpassing the 2,000 total of 200,000. Importantly, please let me know what you think of all of this material. Why are you so invested in AMC? What is the underlying basic value and rationale for this investment? Do you agree with me, or do you have your own opinion on this matter? I would be delighted to hear from you. In addition, while you're there, let me know whether you'd like a video explaining why I am still in this trade and why I believe in it totally. Honestly, nothing could sway me in the wrong direction because I've watched so many people come and go and so many creators stop discussing this topic. And my personal opinion is that this argument is flawed. That demonstrates that a large number of people have no idea what they're doing in the markets. They viewed this incorrectly, at least from an alternative creative or creator perspective. So I will refrain from ranting too much. That will be saved for a later video. Click the like button. As previously stated, all of these fantastic stuff. If you would want to trade with me in real time, please click the clap button on those selections. Underneath the video's description is a hyperlink. We appreciate your watching. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.